Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to be talking about the syllabus on Canvas. So jump over here to the left side of your, after you click into your Canvas shell. If you click on syllabus on the left side, what I really love about Canvas is that it's going to populate the assignments that you've already created up to this point. So let me just take you through an overview of the syllabus and why I like to use it and the elements that I include. So just like you have a face-to-face -face class, you hand a syllabus to your students at the beginning of every semester. This is the same idea except it's here online. What I do is I literally take the syllabus that I've already created and I copy and paste it into the syllabus. So all you have to do, it's a page just like anything else, you'll go into the syllabus and you'll click edit and then you'll be able to copy and paste like we've done in the past tutorials. If you missed any of them, go back and check all of the tutorials that I've created. Um, I talked about how to create a page and how to set it up, but at this point you should be able to click and, and edit. I like to copy and paste for my Word doc. After I copy and paste in here, you will need to do some formatting because it's not going to be the same format from Word. And I'll show you an example here in a second. So I, it looks just like my syllabus does. The course description, the breakdown, you know, the units, the exams, everything that I have in the syllabus, um, the textbook, the grading breakdown is here for them as well. And I, in my syllabus, I do include a weekly schedule for them with some type of, this one's very simple here, but you can see, for example, in my syllabus in this class, I break down the schedule for them a little more, what we're doing, we're rehearsing, we're coaching, and I break it down by week. That way they at least have some idea of what's coming up. I do the same thing in my online classes. So I, I like to give them somewhat of an overview so that they know what's what's coming, what to expect. If there's a holiday that they know that we won't be there that day. And it's a great way to just give them an overview. So after you, this is all edit. So I, I copy and pasted all of this in here, my entire syllabus. And then I went through and formatted it. So it's accessible for all folks. And then this course summary part down below, this will populate after you create all of your assignments. So for example, when you create your assignments in the class, it's going to populate them automatically in the summary. So you don't have to do that. Here's another class, for example, it starts to populate everything. I've already created these. And it's really amazing here because the students are going to then see everything that actually due and a due date. Again, it's just another easy way for the students to know exactly what's happening in your class at all times. So if they ever get confused, they can go back to the syllabus, scroll down here to the course summary and see everything that's due. And then a lot of times they can go in and they'll just click. So here this April 15th, which is actually the day that I'm recording this right now. Um, this class has changed, of course, because it's jumped from face to face to online. But for example, this was supposed to be their performance day. They can click on this and they can go straight into that assignment and the rubric that I already created for them. And I'm going to do a, a, a shell, a canvas. I'm going to do a tutorial on the rubric coming up in the next one. I will link it up in the cards here for you when I get that created for you. So they can click back and forth. It's just a really awesome way for them to know exactly what's happening, just like it would be in a face-to-face -face class. Now, when you go in here and edit this, so let's go back over here and let's edit. This is just like a page. So you can see that what I do is just put everything in here. Now, for example, this right here actually um, is not accessible because it has this little arrow, this little mark here. I must not have edited that. So what I would do is after I pop it in here, it's going to be a little wonky. Okay. So it's going to look a little bit different than it does when you, when you copy and paste it, depending on your format. So what you can do is, for example, I want this to be numbered. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click the number. Okay. Sometimes you have to do a little bit of finagling here to get exactly what you want with Canvas though, because they're trying to make it extremely accessible. But what I do is I go up and then I just hit enter. I go up and I hit enter. I go back up and then there I have, oops, 
and there I have the units and now they're completely accessible versus me writing the number one and then tabbing over. You really wanna to try to use the bullets and use the numbers so everything is accessible in Canvas. And when I say that, what I mean is that the system is set up so that their reader is going to allow them to hear it and see it in a way that's gonna be accessible to them. So we really wanna to try to keep everything really accessible in Canvas. Again, here, I could bullet point this. You just wanna make sure that you go back and sometimes you have to finagle again with Canvas a bit. Sometimes you might have to enter this and then bullet it over and then you can go back. What I like about this though is the fact that you can copy and paste. You're not having to retype. You don't wanna put a Word document in here. That is the most important thing. Do not just go up here and, and or do, don't just go over here to files, upload a PDF and stick the PDF in here and say, see syllabus, click on it. You really wanna keep everything within Canvas. So again, it's accessible to everybody and the students not clicking in and out. You don't want them to click in and out. You want them to stay right here with Canvas. I know it's a little more work, but the best thing you can do is literally select all in Word, copy and paste, and then you have all the content, and then just go back in and make sure that it looks the way you want it to be. Redo the bullets, redo everything so it's here. Um, it gives you less creativity, but the best thing is that it's keeping it simple for the students who are literally using their phone to, ex be, to attend class right now, or an iPad. Okay, so just keep it accessible for them. And after you finish all of your updates, you'll see the course summary is down here. Click on that box that you wanna show course summary. I think it's extremely helpful, okay? You, then you just click update syllabus and then you can see that those updates have been made in here. This is the best way that you can have the students see the syllabus and it be clear. Again, we want the syllabus to be very clear for them. That is something I'm gonna go back to in this, in this, all, all these tutorials. You want the students to know exactly what they need to do, exactly when to do it, and how to do it. So, that is syllabus. Hope this helps you, and I will see you in the next video. Happy teaching, everyone. Bye.